Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome, and welcome to another tutorial. Um, it is how to make a Minecraft crack server Mineshafter squared way. Um, Mineshafter way is fully failing and lots of questions that I couldn't even answer, to be honest. And yeah, and I'm starting to have problems with it too. So it looks like that Mineshafter had made a new um new prox a um, new website so it's mineshafter squared um the proxy is 3.5 it's updated more so yeah um so first of course you need to go to craft bucket and make guys make sure you watch the whole video i know it's boring but um don't come at the end asking me what to do okay then you need to download the recommended build Oh Jesus. Yep, then you press click keep and then you should get this file. After it's finished downloading, you drag it to your desktop and rename it to craft bucket. Okay, so like this. Rename craft bucket. Okay, rename that file, okay? If you want to use my codes. And then um you need to go to Minecraft. Um, you have to register if you haven't if you already already did then this part's not um worried by you then you need to go to mineshaft squared sorry then you log in with your um, Minecraft username and password. Don't worry if you lose it. It's not like it's premium or something, so it doesn't really matter. But they won't they won't keep it anyway. So then you got to manage. Uh, no, if you can create skins and stuff, but I'm not. I'll teach you that in the next tutorial. Then I want you to download this one. Okay, client proxy jar. Okay, and then you keep it. Then you download. Minecraft server proxy then you keep it then you drag it into your desktop I know it sounds like so weird I know I know so confusing I know but it took me a while um, and then that's that I think that's all you need really and then um, you need to rename Minecraft the server is this Minecraft the server yeah, Mineshafter Square Server to Mineshafter Server. Exact same, okay? And Mineshafter um, Client, I want you to rename it as Mineshafter or oh, the Square. Exactly. If you have a um, spe spelling mistake, then you're gone, okay? And um, oh wait, squared. Sorry, squared. Look at this. Yeah. Um. After that, I want you to make a new folder called Minecraft Server. Then I want you to drag in Minecraft Server in and Craft Bucket in. Okay. And after you've done that, I want you. To copy one of the codes in description, um, it's 64 bit or 66 oh, 64 bit or 32 bit. Um, to check if you're 64 32 bit, oh shit. Um, you check over here. Mine's 64 bit. So and you need to check um, your program files. I think. Java and I have both so it doesn't really matter but I'm gonna use 32 bit be because um, I recommend you to use 32 bit you can use unlimited stuff and stuff like that unlimited RAM to open your server I don't know um, so I need to copy that and guys I'm using notepad plus plus it works for notepad so you paste it, then you save as, 
run.bat, okay? Run.bat, you save as run.bat. Then you go to all, all types and then you save. After that's done, you should get this file. You can delete the new text file, whatever it's called. Done, bam. Okay. Um, the reason, okay, that doesn't really, just make sure that they, um, exactly what I typed it in as, like renamed it as, then you run the server, oh, let's see, you, you even know where the stronghold is, minus 43 and minus 50, <laughs> even know where the stronghold is, okay, then you type in stop, Then um, you go to server and you leave online mode to true and you can change your mod of the day. Um, limit of players put on. Um, if you have a slow computer, I recommend you to put it lower. But I'm doing a stupid tutorial, so it doesn't really matter. And plugins, I'll teach you in an, another tutorial world or you can put a custom world you know how to do it if you don't I'll just tell me and I'll make a new video but, but that's really what you need to do really and then click run so it's 3.5 um, and then you 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 want to do what you want to do well I just um shit sorry what you want to do is to make a new text file and then you copy um, what like it's in the de description um, make sure it's mineshaft squared yes it is and this is how many RAM you want it. Um, I'm running at six RAM, six gigabyte of RAM then you save as Minecraft squared dot bat. It doesn't really matter. But it's just you need dot bat at the end. Then you click off types and then you save it. After you've done that, you find it and then you click it and then this should come up. Then you type in your username and password. Then you log in and then it should work. And then um, you got a multiplayer. Then you type in local host, like, oh shit. You type in local host, in the local, uh, local host, exactly the same. Okay, I want to, prov I want to prevent problems here. And then you click on it, or join server, then bam, here's your sexy server. Oh yeah, and you can op yourself by doing this. Op your name. Okay. Okay, now I'm up. Now I can expose shit. You know all that crap that you want to do with your server, or you can explode crap. Um, just like this. Explode everything. Kill yourself. You know everything you want to do, man. Okay, my server's pretty laggy, so it's gonna lag. Okay. So, so, so you know the main idea of this, okay? So, you want to stop it, and for your friends to join. Well, um, okay. What I want you to do is, um, if someone in your family member, like in someone who's using your Wi-Fi internet or connection, you want to use this code. IP config. Your um your family members or whoever using your Wi-Fi network uses um, this code okay okay um, and for the people who does not use um, wife um, does not connect with your Wi-Fi internet and shit then you need to go to what is my IP it should show you here if it doesn't then you click the first one then it should show you okay it's not the same, okay, guys. Don't be an idiot, okay. And um, yeah, oh yeah.
import forwarding, which I can't show you because it never works. But you can go, you you can find out um, how to port forward Minecraft shit. Minecraft, yeah, bam, here, okay, all for you, okay. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. If it doesn't, read the FAQs in their website or my website if it does not work then you have to ask me which might take a week for me to answer you cause I can't always receive and reply like six million times the same questions read the comments as well read the past comments and see if there's any problems that other people had asked and stuff in the air next video I'm going to show you how to make it uh, put in plugins and stuff and all that crap and skins okay okay thanks for watching hope this hope you didn't go to sleep fall asleep during my video but yeah